With two mountain stages on the menu, this weekend will be a trial for the peloton. Today the pack will have to handle the very first out-of-category ascent of this edition, the Sierra de la Pandera, an 8km climb with an average slope of 8%. It's the fifth time in the history of the Vuelta that a stage arrives at the summit of this long climb. But before it gets to this impressive ascent, there's enough time to warm up for the teams and sporting directors. There is no difficulty on the first 80 kilometers, and this inspires some to try their luck with a breakaway. Ten men take off, amongst them Rafael Maika, Simon Clark and Alexis Goujar. The escapees collaborate, but Team Strack and Astana won't let the lead go over seven minutes. The crucial point of stage 14 is the Sierra de la Pandera. But before that, there's the nearly vertical climb to Val de Peñas de Jaén. With slopes of up to 25%, another demanding ascent. And when it gets to the steep wall, 30 kilometers from arrival, the escape group falls apart and their lead is reduced to two minutes. The pack comes closer and Rafael Maika decides to attack 10 kilometers from the finish line. He leaves the other breakaways behind and climbs the Sierra de la Pandera for a first stage win on his fifth Vuelta. He passes the finish line narrowly before being reeled in by the group of favorites. Again a driving force at the end of the stage, Alberto Contador attacks three and a half kilometers from arrival. Nibali follows, but the two don't manage to distance Christopher Froome. Then Miguel Angel Lopez tries his luck, and the Colombian, already stage winner this week, finishes second, 27 seconds behind Rafael Maika. Nibali and Froome arrive together, but the sprint gives Nibali a four second bonus, and the Italian makes up a little time in the race ranking. One hundred and fifty six kilometers in the lead, and enough energy left for a solitary ride to the stage win. Rafael Maika was in great shape today. Narrowly beaten by Julien Lafilippe at Corée de Cati, the man from Bora Hansgrohe managed to leave all the favorites behind on the exhausting final ascent. It's the second Polish to take a stage on the Vuelta 2017, and he is a worthy successor to Damiano Cunego, the last to win at Pandera after a solitary run in 2009. Tour, I'm crash, and uh, Tour of Poland, I'm second. I come in Vuelta for GC, and uh, I'm sick. I almost go home, and now I'm so happy. But I'm not happy because I win. I'm happy for my teammates because today we will do very good job, and uh, team, team is all the time trust me, and uh, I'm so happy and believe me. That's why I win today. First stage win for Team Bora Hansgrohe on this Vuelta. Behind Maika, Miguel Angel Lopez confirms his qualities as a climber by leaving the group of favorites behind on the final ascent. Nibali receives four bonus points and now lies 55 seconds behind Froome in the race ranking. Chavez and De La Cruz suffered on the Pandera today and fall back in the overall ranking, which benefits Kelderman and Zakarin. Second day in the mountains tomorrow with a short and aggressive stage. Only 130 km long, but with differences in altitude of 3,200 meters altogether. Right before the second day off on Monday, it should be a crucial stage for those who hope to arrive victorious at Madrid.